Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Uh, it's still going. It's got 25,000 litres of silage. Oh, no, we've run out of hay now. I have got 300,000 in there that's processed. So it's it takes a bit of time for it to come out of this one. Um, and I should have stopped here. So we've got a great demand at the restaurant, but what have we got a great demand for? It's definitely uh, canola right here. Canola is down across the board. I mean, we got 2,000 there at the ranch, so we could go and sell that, but we don't really need to worry about it. We've got 150,000 litres of milk here. Uh, I'll do that one. Like that. Okay, sell that. That's 416,000. It gives me 625,000 euros at the moment. Jump to this tractor and we'll go over here. And now I'm at the moment I'm kind of wanting to maintain um the 1000 cows. So I'm going to unload down to the thousand. I'm not going to go below that. Like if I was running this a longer series, I'd probably drop it to 950 cows and then let it come back up. Either that or each morning when we get the milk, we also sell off the excess cows and we uh, we put it back down to a thousand. So back down to a thousand right now, that means that we've got a total of 30. So we've moved the, um, well, we have a thousand and twenty, didn't we? So we've got a, a, a selling fee there. So with 20 cows we've sold, it gives us an extra 36,000 euros, which is rather nice. And an hour and 15. So we'd, we'd be selling 20 cows every day doing it like this. We've got 1.1 million litres of total mixed ration in that feeder. I've got a little bit more straw that I can go and get as well. I got 25,000 litres of silage, and then we got 210,000 litres in here, which is pouring out as rapidly as it possibly can. So we can ignore that bit. Uh, this one, well, we can also ignore this one. There's more manure that I can go and do something with if I want to. Do I want to? No, not really. But the only thing that I want to do is I think we should consider going and buying some straw. Uh, not straw, sorry. Uh, buying some hay. We've got straw. The straw is not a problem. Uh, there's 60,000 litres right there. Getting more after this, yes, that is going to be a little bit of an issue if we, we just need an auto load thing and then we auto load our 20,000 litre bales here. That would be the way to do that. I think that would be the way forward with that. But at the moment, all I want to do is I want to have another one of our trailers. I got that trailer over there. Don't think I have got active on this series the other bale trailers that I use. I got these right here. It's not that lizard flat deck. So what is it that I'm using? Probably under baling technology, isn't it? It's either under baling technology or it's under trailers. Uh, okay, it's not under those. Is it one of these? Nope. Nope. That one. Semi-trailer square bales big. Square bales big. We've got little tiny bales there. Uh, square bales. Is actually this one here that I want to get? Because the square bales big. That's a different. That is for the. That is for the Heston bales. So it's this one here. This takes thirty bales, and that's twenty. So I want this one right here. I would like a rear hitch on this one, but I don't think that's even an option. Auto load is an option there. So we want to keep that. Attaches standard plus trailer hitch. Okay, yes, we want that one. Decal white, red, black, white. We have main color here. Ah, design color, yellow. <laughs> okay, let's swap those round. We go with the main colour yellow like that, and then we go with the Flegel red one in there. And the rim colour is also going to be red. Okay, so Flegel one colour is different, so I'll go with the Case IH red on there. I actually like that. It's a little bit multicoloured. 
I like it. I like that a lot. Uh, then the decal on the back, that's going to be in black. That'll fit quite nicely on there. We've got the auto load option. Wheel brand is Lizard. We'll go with Trellborg and we got steering axle or standard. We'll take the steering axle, I think. Yes, we will. That, that'll help us out a little bit more. So I want to buy two of these. One and two. Okay, back. And I'm going to want to buy a dolly to go in between them. And I believe the dolly that we're going to want. Now, I struggled with the dolly in the time lapse series. I couldn't get the right one. I have got a dolly in here, which we got with... It's this one. It's the, the arranged dolly there. The semi-dolly there, the um, that one, it really doesn't work. That one's no good for these bale trailers. I got a different set of bale trailers that I'm using but it still didn't work out very well. I think ultimately I ended up with that one. I think that mod one there is the best one for us to get. Either that or it's one of the... I don't think one of these is the option. I, I think we want to get... It could be that one. No. That one didn't work very well for some reason. I can't remember why. I think we just want to get one of these dollies. So we want to put a design color on this one. We'll go with the Case IH Red on there. And then main color is going to be the John Deere Yellow, I think, is what we went for. Buy that one. Yep. Okay. So there's nothing else that I can purchase for that. And off we go. So I will put this little bit of straw that we've got left here and... I'll run that over to the cows and we'll tip that out. Then we're going to race our way down to the store and we're going to put on the double trailers that we've got down there. We're then going to purchase some hay and some straw. We're going to see how well we get on with making those purchases. Whether or not that is going to help us out. So I'm just going to tip that lot out there. We're on 721,000 at the moment. We're gonna, adding in an extra 60,000 litres. It's not a huge amount, but it's a little bit there to go in. Um, obviously, it's going to make a difference. Now we've got to go and buy this other stuff. So we've got 25,000 litres at the moment of straw in there. And not straw, silage. Straw we can ignore. We, we don't, we've got plenty of that. We got silage in there, but we don't have any hay at all. Now, 25,000 litres. One trailer can take 60 bales at four... Uh, sorry, uh, 30 bales. So the double trailer will take 60 bales. Um, but 30 bales. So times 40,000, which is what we've got at the moment. These trailers we will take back down to the other yard so that we can empty them out. And the combine is finished, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, times the other, uh, uh, times 4,000 litres for the bales, so we've got 30,000, that's 120,000 litres that we can get. So we get 30 bales of silage and 30 bales of hay, we bring both lots up and we put them straight into the mixed feeder. So there's 120,000 litres of each, it's not huge numbers... But still, 120,000 litres of each is enough to at least make a reasonable amount of feed. Now, I mean, yes, admittedly, the silage that we put in, that we were mixing up, that was 400,000 litres. So if we were to do this for a little bit, we would end up wanting to buy um, quite a substantial number of bales, not just one trailer load of 30 bales of each type. But... We don't need to worry too much about it. Now, hay is re relatively cheap. Okay, we know that. Hay is quite cheap. We're not going to have to worry about uh, the cost of that too much. Um, the other stuff, however, is going to be more expensive. The silage, that's where it starts to increase in price. So I just want to unhitch that one there. And I'll go on a little bit. The combine, I want to bring that one out and over we've got some canola in here 
80,000 litres. I only really need to put it into the front one, but it's easier if I just bring this one along and I dump that lot in there. So we'll quickly empty out the 80,000 litres that we've got in the combine and then we'll race on over to the field and we will put that one going. He's probably going to get hung up on the back corner like he normally does unless I go and start on that back corner, which is what I was thinking of doing. I know that we will have to drive over the crop to get there. Quite frankly, I don't care. So, to get round there, I'm going to have to smash my way through these trees. And over the giant rock right there. But we'll pretend that all of the above didn't just happen. And then we go around here like this. And we go whizzing off up through this field. So what I'm hoping is if I start up on this corner up here, it's going to stop the combine from doing the weird thing where it tries to turn itself round and inside out. So what I will do is I will bring this one over here like this. And I will manually start right there. And I will do that bit. And then I will bring this over. And I'll bring it to that point. And then I will press H right there. Allow it to do its calculations. And he's going to go and get started just in here. And then when it comes back round there, it should just kind of do a course correction and carry right on through rather than trying to mess itself up we'll just make sure we can get through this bit here should be able to this one it normally just keeps going yes so the rest of it he should be all right with it's just what i'm hoping so let's go to our truck get down to the shop we're nearly out of time actually it's nearly out of time we, the amount of money that we get from these cows for the milk indicates very, very strongly that we would easily be able to buy the straw and silage and bedding and hay for feed and everything that we need. We don't need to pick them up from here. They're in the main yard because we have the delivery thing and I completely forgot about that. How many of you knew that they were in the yard and chose not to say something? Letting me make one... that Giving me this final opportunity to make a fool of myself one last time before we leave FS19 for good. How many of you knew... Go on, hands up. I'm sure that there are at least several of you here who realised that I was making a complete donkey of myself and you chose to say nothing. How could you? I feel utterly betrayed by you all. I do like the red and yellow combination that we've got going on here. It also rather nicely matches up with the other stuff that we've got. So let me do that. The, the tractors that we've got over there, it kind of matches in with them quite nicely as well. So I'll run you back into there like that. And then I just want to have a look at this one. So operating position doesn't select a different bale. This is a one choice does all. Operating position. That's it. There is no alternative option. Right, so I'm just going to leave that there for a second and we... No, I don't want to do that one. I want to go to this one and we go there and we go to bales right here. So straw we don't want. We want hay and we want oh I bought the wrong trailer we need round bales baling technology it's round bales that we're after right so uh, square bales big square bales round bales right there so there's actually 34 bales there for rounds so we'll do hay for round and we will do square we can't do that with the um, silage has to be round bales. They're not giving us the option of buying square bales of silage. Which is weird. I don't know why they're doing that. So main colour is going to be Case IH Red. Design colour is going to be John Deere Yellow. 
Rim color is going to be Case IH. Wheel brand is Trailborg. Steering axle decal is black. Yes, we have the auto load attacher plus trailer hitch, so we can put them whichever way round we want. So that's a round bale trailer. Bye. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the garage and I'm going to go through and find the missing trailer. So send me trailer, square bales, round bales, square bales. We'll unhitch one of these. I'll sell that one there. It might be the right one. It might be the wrong one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that is the one that... And I went and put that the wrong way round, didn't I? It was supposed to be the, the other way. Uh... I got to redo that. I'm not doing that. So the the base of it is red. How did I get that so wrong? I've just got. I've literally just gone and bought these. It's because I'm trying to rush. That's why we're in a rush. We're right near the end. So the main color being red is is not what we want. We want yellow as the main color. Like that. That's more like it. And then case IH on here because the the name needs to be in black so that it shows up on the back there. That's what we had. Uh, the room color is also red. And then we went with Trailborg. We went with the steering axle. The decal is black like that. So it shows up. And we got the auto load. And then we got a rear attachment as well by that one. Okay. Back. Garage. Round bale trailer. Okay. I don't know which one. First one, I think. Sell. Yes, perfect. We sold the right one. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so I've got that one hooked up onto there, which means that now I can go over this way and I can get that one. So I've got to get 34 bales of silage to fill the trailer up. And we want to get 30 bales of hay in the form of square bales. I mean, I could get both of them as round bale trailers. I'm not going to change it over now. That's not something that we're going to go and do. So we will go now into here and we'll go to bales. So we want 30 bales of hay first up. Eight is the most that we can get. So buy it says one, two, three. That makes 24 bales. And then I need six for the final load. Okay. Back out of there, and then we go to the round bale silage right here, and this one, I want one, two, three. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this over because we've got more silage. We've got 24,000 litres of silage already. So I'm now going to go with four bales of silage. back so that makes 28 i got 34 so then i'm going to go for six bales of round bale hay bye right there they all are where's the six bales of hay are they in the shed i can't actually see if they're in the shed i'm pretty sure they are in the shed so I've got at the moment, which one am I? I'm actually highlighting that one. So I want to go to this one. I think the front one is that, yeah, the, the other bales must be in the shed. Either that or they're down at the store. So we go to here and we go to operating position. This bale type is not supported. So it's not that one. Actually, bale operating position. Start that one there. That's the square bales on the back. And then I go to here. And I start that one there. This bale is not supported. Yeah, it says that. But it doesn't matter. Because what we do is we go over to here like this. And then it will reach the bales that we want it to reach. I need to swing in around here. And I can reverse that one in over like that. And then those bales will get loaded on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch to that one. So the back trailer is done. 
And then I'm going to go on round here like this. And I'm just going to get the rest of these bales. That's silage there. But where's the hay gone? 28. There should be si there's six bales of hay somewhere. I think they might be down at the store. Unless I missed a pop-up that told me that they've gone and been put somewhere else. Either one could have happened. So we'll just hitch on the one at the back. I'm not going to unload onto the trailers yet until I have finished loading everything. So we'll head down to the store and we'll just see if they're down there. They might not be. If they're not, though, I don't know where they are. But I am loving the colour options that we've got on these trailers. Not loving that. But there's the bales. There's the missing bales. That's the ones that we wanted. We'll go in here. We'll gather that lot up. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got these all on here, which means that now I need to go to, uh, well, first up we need to change, we'll go there, so I'm in transporting position like that, and then I just need to unload bales, and then unload here that loads them, and then you, put, you press Y a third time to put it back into transporting position, and then I can just fasten those onto the trailer like that, and then I go... To the front ones. So you've got to press Y twice to unload. And then it says once, twice unloaded. It did pop them out a little bit there, didn't it? There was a little bit of movement there. Tension, the strap's going just one strap all the way down over like that. Not very realistic. You would put straps going the other way as well. Yes, you would have the long straps. And you do. You would also have long straps on these loads. At least any loads I was ever involved with um, moving wood. And that needs to go back into that one like that. Right. So we've got our loads of bales. We've got 64 bales on here in total. It says zero, but that's only because we've unloaded them and we've now loaded them actually onto the lorry itself. Uh... Just wondering if the safest method of doing this is not going up that little road there because of the traffic coming the other way. Like, we're getting stuck around there. I think it'd be better if we go up that hill and go that way. Either that or we head down... No. I think we need to turn right coming out of here. That's, that's going to be the best method for us. Now, let's go and just check on our combine. It seems to be doing all right so far. Everything seems to be ticking along rather nicely. We don't need to worry about anything up there. I'm going to ignore that, and we're not doing any planting. Let's get these to the cows and get these unloaded into the feed mixer, and that's going to be about it. That's going to wrap up our FS19 series here in Hagenstead for good. I've rather enjoyed this. It's been an interesting sort of journey. Sort of, I started off by playing quite a bit more realistically. Um, well, not fully realistic, but uh, yeah, I started off playing fairly slow and steady. And I feel that perhaps I should have started increasing the speeds of the machinery, increasing the capacities and things like that um, a little bit sooner so that we could have gotten a bit more land going here. That, that would have definitely, um, pushed things along a bit. I'm pleased that we've reached the thousand cows and it definitely looks like on, at least on the easy mode settings, we would be able to keep this going. We'd need to buy in the feed like this, at least for a bit until we've bought up some more land and we can, um, keep things going like that. But it definitely looks like it would be entirely possible to have cows and feed them and um, keep them in bedding without doing anything other than buying the stuff in. Now, the interesting bit about that is that we could go and do that with one of the other series. Now, I was considering doing that with the realistic series for the Erlingrat one, and this is proving that we can do it. I will 
realistically get a auto load trailer or something along those lines before we worry about doing something like that but it has proved that we can do it so that, that I quite like the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to with the next series is being able to start farming stones I want a field I want to set it up so that we can start harvesting stones from that field and I want to see if we make more money back than we spend out on hired help and things like that. So we want to get a small field, we want to get things set up and we want to try and do that as soon as we possibly can. Whether or not we'll actually be able to pull that off I don't really know. But look at that beautiful load coming up through there, that looks fantastic doesn't it? We got the Frith Ginger truck here, courtesy of Ducky. This is an absolute beauty of a machine. I love it. It's been a privilege to drive it. Um, and I'm really hoping that we get something similar turning up at some point in FS22. Let's bring this on round here like this. There we look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's got to be the screenshot. And moving on, I know we got the Combine busy working down in the field, but I'm mostly ignoring that now. We've seen that one working several times down there. What we really want to find out is, can we dump this lot in for the cows without any mishaps or anything like that? If we can, then we will have proved that we can do it, because we've still got 483,000 euros. So, today, not only did I go and buy the silage and the hay but I also bought the trailers to move it on which was quite a bit extra. The straw would be the most time consuming bit. Definitely the most time consuming bit out of this entire plan that we've got going right here. I'm just going to bring you round like that because we've got the turn axle on this it should swing the back end of the trailers around a little bit. Uh... I am more than a little bit concerned at the moment because those bales of silage didn't drop in to the machine. If bales of silage are not dropping into the... It might be that I just wasn't quite close enough to the edge. It is a bit sensitive to that. Oh, thank goodness for that. A minor heart attack right there. I thought for a moment that we weren't going to be able to do it, so we've got all of the hay in. Goodness me. What a way to finish up that would have been. No, you can't have the silage. We don't like it. That was not what I had in mind at all. So let's bring you round here, and I'll run that one through. So long as you keep it tight enough, it's fine. So I'll just run that one over there. I really like this set of trailers. So... I don't know how long it's going to be. Eventually, we will get auto-load trailers. We know that. There's always auto-load trailers that turn up. But uh, when, how long it will be before we start getting some, I don't really know. But right in here, we have now got a bit of silage. And we got a bit of hay. There's actually a little bit more hay now than there is silage. That's fine. We can soon balance that out um, with more loads afterwards. And then that would go in there, and we'd go in for these cows, and it would keep them going. So let's just go forward by one hour here, so that we can just see what's going on there. That is already filling that one up really nicely. It makes the stuff faster than it can actually tip it in for cows, which is quite cool. Uh, but, I mean, eventually it does go in for the cows there, and I think... The reason it does that is because if you're fast-forwarding time, it will. But then as soon as you slow down to just normal time speed at normal time scale again, it will then... it keeps pouring it out at a set rate. That set rate that it's leaving here and going into the cattle um, pen, that is standard and there's nothing that you can do to alter that. So it doesn't really matter how fast we're ticking forward with time that's not going to change but we have a thousand cows and we have proved that you can run a thousand cows yes 
I had to do some modifications to the map. It was actually, I had to find some obscure lines of code somewhere and add those to any. It doesn't matter what mod you use. You just got to add them to a mod to allow pens on any map to have more than, I think it was 450 cows or something like that. There's a hard limit. And so you have got to put in some code to allow it to go beyond that, which is what I did to allow my thousand cows to go in here. But I now have my thousand cows and I have proved that they can actually be fed and looked after even if we don't have enough grass to do it ourselves. Which is good. It do does work. I don't know about hard mode. Like the, the amount of milk that you get compared to what it costs on hard mode. I've no idea. I don't know if that would work or not. But definitely on easy mode it works. And the next series... We do take over from this one on the US based map, uh, Elmer Creek or something like that, I think it is. Um, that one is, well, take over from, if all has gone well, you'll already have had some content on there. So the Elmer Creek stuff, I'm hoping that we've already made a start in there. Me personally, I haven't got to it yet, obviously, but there we go. So if you have enjoyed this series, or if you've enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed any of the content from FS19, really, I, you know, I really, really would appreciate if you could head down below and give us a like, because it really does actually make a difference. I don't talk about it very much, I just mention it briefly at the end. And also, if you really enjoyed the content, then please tell your friends all about me and get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.